Woo, Pakalana, how beautiful. Aloha, my name is Vincent Minah, and I'm here today to show you a demonstration on trop vermicomposting, Wailuku style. So in trough vermicomposting, the key is to have materials that are quickly decomposed by the worms. That you can flip while putting in new materials for them to feed on. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking the front material, placing it in the back. Put in, which is juice pulp material. And then hardwood sawdust as a carbon source. What I do is mix it in. Mix it in enough to where it takes it absorbs a lot of the moisture from the juice pulp. I like getting my hands in it. So I can feel the moisture content when it's just right. And then I'll add to that this mixture that we're producing now at the biochar site of sand and biochar, which is real fine material. And a lot of our soils that we're growing food in are heavy soils that don't have the biology and clay soils that don't have the biology so this helps when you put this into the soil this helps open the soils up and provide a, a easy way for the worms to to process that biochar and sand and um, add to the castings As I like to call it, the, the, the biochar is condominiums for the microbes. So it gives them a place to, for the microbes to be able to inhabit that will hold moisture and um, promote microbial um, vitality. And then I just take the front. The, back, the area that I move to the back and just flip it to the front. And that will be broken down in a matter of days. And it'll end up looking like this here. And what I do here in the finished product is what I'll do is I'll take it, I'll take it and I'll skim off the top castings, which feel very silky. Let the worms dive down to get out of the light. And then I'll take this material, and this is what I make my compost tea out of. Five pounds for 55 gallons of water. And um, ends up being a real um, nice addition to, for a plant and root soak. So the vermicompost, and I'm dumping on our farm compost here, will help to inoculate and break down all of our trays that we cut, all this biomass 
of roots and stems and just gives them a, a um, banquet of material to work off of. And that'll, they'll just travel down through the pile or get to places that are, our um, temperature is not as hot and uh, and then work their way back into areas that are cool enough for them to break down. This is our screened finish material that we utilize in growing our greens for our farm. That is 20 years old. It's been worked out, worked on for the past 20 years. So bringing the worms into the equation uh, only and en will enrich this um, beautiful compost that we make. Aloha. So this is our tea brewer. And basically what I have here is three quarter inch pipe that I've jury rigged MacGyvered kind uh, into this um, shape that basically I put holes underneath the pipes here. So it's all interconnected. So when I when I place this down into my compost brewer, water will come up and seek its own level. And then there's air hoses that uh, I have attached into the bottom of the pipe. And uh, this is uh, some um, soaker hose that will add to the air bubbles. And then this is a soaker stone on the bottom. Put this um, piece down into the, into the barrel, hook up all the air hoses. So there's going to be several directions that air is gonna be coming up through the center, th around the sides and back into the middle and to create a jacuzzi effect. Shown earlier, I collect all of these castings, about five, five pounds I just gather off the top. And this is really beautiful material. See the little wormy sticking his head up? And um, let's scrape some more here. Scrape all their hard work off the top. Okay, so then I take my five pounds of castings and like a tea bag is in place. The air is being pumped into these pipes and it's coming, the air is pushing the water up through the bottom and returning it back into the middle where the, the tea bag is of uh, worm castings. Now I'll take a little bit of kelp meal, a couple tablespoons worth, and I'll mix that into the water. And then I'll add some molasses, sugar source for the microbes. And basically we'll, in about 10 to 12 hours, give them another feed. And, um, and then within 24 hours we'll harvest. So that's, um, that's basically it for what we do here with our vermicompost castings making into compost tea. From seed to fruit, a nine month old papaya tree grown with vermicompost tea. The result of using vermicomposting on your plants. Great fig production from the castings this year. Figs, this year. Figs this year. Figs this year.